what's up today is day 12 and i am feeling so awesome at least i am now <laughs> i woke up this morning and i was feeling like i didn't do my tea last night could be why but i'm doing it this morning and so what i did though because i felt like i don't know i don't know what it was so i um burn some sage do you know about sage it's the most awesome herb um if you don't look it up um it helps really with clearing out um negative energy bringing in like positivity and behind it i usually burn um like a sweet smelling incense like vanilla which is my favorite or frankincense and myrrh um just to bring the odor back in the house and but when you burn the sage make sure you open all the windows because you know you want them spirits to leave, all that negative energy to get up out of the house. You don't want to stay in here. Um, but I did it also to kind of clear up some clutter spots so that when I clean today, um, it'll help move the energy around, make the house easier for us to live in, you know. Uh, we are, <clears throat> I don't know, we are um, our family. I feel like when the house is, like, dirty or, or disorderly, disorder, is it a disorder? disorderly okay anyway but when the house is out of order <laughs> like it's not neat and um it um messes with the energy in the house you know what i'm saying so um i am making the connection between having a clean and orderly house to health so it makes me want to do it even more and also my partner and i had a really good conversation around sharing our responsibilities and I am so psyched about that because I love him and I hate resenting him because he don't want to help me you know what I'm saying when me do everything because I'm a woman well I know they say women can do everything and I probably could if I put my mind to it but that's not the way it has to be you know what I'm saying alright so <laughs> uh, but I you know since made the connection between um, health and um, and cleaning so I'm gonna be doing more of that and keeping my house in order um, being really strict about it to myself and also get my family in on the ball um, on the ball game you know what I'm saying um, also I'm getting rid of stuff a lot of stuff a lot of stuff you'd be surprised all the junk you got in the house just hold up like what am I holding on to this crap for I don't know. Sometimes I guess I'll be thinking I'm going to need something later or something like that. I don't know. I don't need this crap. I'm getting rid of it. Um, so, and cleaning out the refrigerator. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't even want to look in there right now because it's like, mm-mm. Got -mm. um, a whole bunch of leftover food in there because, um, you know, I haven't really been cooking that much. I cooked um, for the, what, maybe the first time since I've been on this cleanse um, for my um, partner yesterday. <laughs> He was so happy. I cooked him some eggs with um, onion powder and garlic and some um, potatoes with mixed vegetables, curry, basil, thyme. I looked it up. It was dope. It smelled good. Anyway, he enjoyed it. He was loving it. Uh, so I did that. Um, but Master Clean is going, I you know, I'm not sick anymore, so I'm starting to feel my fabulousness come out and my energy is starting to bubble. I'm like ready. <laughs> um, today is going to be one of them days, so I'm going to be, what, got yoga today. My friend has a um, little thing in the park for, a party in the park for her son. I'm going to go ahead and run through and check that out and support. Show my love. I love her, baby. Shouts out to Tanya Fields. I'm going to post some vids of her and her her amazing poetry. She is a wonderful woman. Um, and so, and her baby's birthday, Thomas. Happy birthday, sweetie. Um, I'll see you later. <laughs> I, um, and then, I'm a, um, I gotta go get some flyers together. I have an open mic that I do here in the South Bronx on Saturdays. And, um, so I need to make some more flyers, basically. Um, oh, wait a minute, this thing is gonna be crooked. Sorry. <laughs> um, I hold this camera, y'all know, but I have one of these little cameras from Radio Shack, and I hold it. So, you know, forgive me if the shot is too close and you can't see what's going on in my house or whatever, but... You know, this is what I got. That's what I could afford, and that's what I got. Uh, but it works pretty well. Um, I probably want to get a microphone so people can hear me better. I think. 
Um, but today, and I'm also doing some cleaning before I, I get out of here and start doing all that stuff. And I still need to pick up some tea. You know those glass, big old glass containers that we make sun tea in? My down south folks, I know you know what I'm talking about. Where do you find that at? I need some. I want to make some kombucha. God, I've been everywhere. Okay, so I'm going to go searching today. And hopefully my day is fruitful. Yeah, hopefully it is. <clears throat> and so I'm, I'm going to make those my priorities. I don't know, I may be doing some more stuff later, but right now those are the things I'm going to take care of. I think it's a lot for this old master cleaning thing since I'm going to be running around the city. Um, but I did my rebounder. Did I tell you that? I did my rebounder today um, for about seven minutes. I meditated and I did some deep breathing <sighs> and some fire breaths, some deep cleansing fire breaths. They really do get your body hot. Um, and it feels good and you feel more open and clear. And I feel more open and clear right now. Uh, but yeah... So, oh, and I'm thinking about um, doing some workshops here in the South Bronx. So, if people are interested, I'm developing a workshop now around meditation, cleansing, deep breathing, um, and just like a natural lifestyle. I've been wearing my hair natural for some years now. Actually, what year did I do this? 2003. So, I'm in natural for almost seven years because I did, I made my cut in August. And... Just with my process in it, and I don't, I, it's kind of long now. If it was straight, it's like goes past my shoulders. Um, and it's healthy. And I want to share with folks how to do that. If, any, if we have some sisters out there trying to go natural or interested in just better hair care, how to keep your hair from being dry and stuff, hit me up. I'll make some videos about it. I probably will anyway because that's how I do. Uh, and I love this thing. Talking to the camera, people are like, what? Oh, yeah, I'm feeling it. Um, Savvy and not so, not be headed so, sister, from way down south, south, south. Anyway, that's the start of one of the poems that I do. Because I am nappy headed and I like it. Uh, I always get so many guys, and not even just guys, everybody, every nationality. Stop me in the street and be like, oh my God, that's what's up, sis. I'm so glad to see that Afro back and you working it. You looking good and sexy and like, just really like cultural and feeling it. You know what? Our men and our young women and other people want our unique African black culture. They want to see us expressing who we are. We ain't got to hide it behind these relaxes. And not, if you want to do that, that's you. But that's extra chemicals in your hair and your body. Mm -mm, I ain't with it no more. I don't even use, like, um, like the lotions from the store. Not if I can help it. Only if I can't find nothing else and my hands are dry. But I try to travel with some oil. So, you know, I don't use regular soaps. I'm not trying to put all that crap in my body that they've already shown that, you know, affects us in, like, really awful ways when it comes to our health and disease and put on my skin to be absorbed into my body does that make any sense no so I use a lot of essential oils some natural oils in order to hydrate I mean you look at my skin okay. not bad no, my skin <laughs> um but yeah so natural all the way and so I feel like, you know, a lot we've got out of touch with what it is to be natural and what is it, why it's important. And so, you know what? I want to tell other people why it's important and show people how I do it. And, I don't know, maybe make a little money along the way. Workshops, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but, yeah, life is dope. Feeling good. Master Cleanse got me. I am think my energy is getting ready to shoot out through the roof. Shoot, y'all ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> anyway, so uh, I'm about to sign off here. This is long. I'm um, sorry about the curse. <laughs> this is a long video, so I'm about to hang up or close it off. However you want to say it. Anyway, love, light, and liberation, folks. Um, this is what's up. Master cleanse. Get it popping. Peace.